Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how to create these web buttons in Inkscape. So we'll be creating these two variants of the web buttons. This first one will be the normal uh, state of a web button. And then you'll have this, uh, the pressed state of a web button. So yeah, let's get started. Open up your Inkscape and uh, I'll just move away from the canvas. Let's and uh, set, just enable all these uh, snappings. I'll just click on uh, click on all of these uh, snappings and turn them on. Then select the rectangles and squares tool and uh, create a rectangle like this. And if the uh, corners of your shape is not rounded, you can just click on this. Uh, node the circle shape right here and click and hold on it and just uh, drag it and create uh, the rounded corners for your shape now we need to apply a stroke to this shape uh, just uh, in the fill and stroke panel and go to stroke paint tab and set it to flat color and uh, change the alpha opacity to 50% go to stroke style and I'll just increase the width of the stroke. I'll change the uh, measurement to pixels, and uh, you don't have to copy this value. It's it will be uh, the stroke that you have to apply will be as per the size of the rectangle. So I'll just zoom in and I'll show you one thing that normally if you apply a stroke, it will look like this. Uh, some part of your stroke will overlap uh, the shape. So to uh, uh, fix this, you just have to click on this icon right here that says Stroke Fill Markers and uh, it will not overlap and uh, the stroke will be applied to outside the shape and not on the inside. And uh, I will now create the highlights and the shadows of our uh, button right here. So to do that, just uh, duplicate the shape. Control D to duplicate it, go to stroke paint tab and remove the uh, stroke from it and uh, I'll just give it a different fill color just to differentiate it from one another. I'll again uh, duplicate the shape, the shape. Uh, Control D to duplicate it and uh, give it a different color. Now zoom in and uh, zoom in and uh, select this uh, shape right there and uh, press the uh, down arrow key a couple of times. Uh, like that um, then uh, you have to and then uh, hold shift on your keyboard and select this uh, shape behind it go to path then uh, click on difference now uh, go to fill tab and set the color to white and uh, then change the alpha opacity to uh, 50% you just have to type it 50 here right here Now I'll just uh, select this shape, uh, control D to duplicate it and uh, uh, click on this icon twice to rotate it to 180 degrees. Now hold control key on your keyboard and uh, drag it down like this till you see this uh, text line midpoints, midpoint to path. Again select this shape, set the color to black and uh, change the alpha opacity to 20% okay now we'll create the drop shadow so just uh, again duplicate the shape remove the stroke and uh, change the fill color uh, just to differentiate go to filters shadows and glows drop shadow and I'll Mm, change the radius to uh, 2 pixels and I'll just uh, live preview this so we are able to see anything uh, set the alpha opacity to to about uh, 35 or 30 and uh, the color should be black I'll again maybe I should change the value to 6 and then I'll click on live preview
eight maybe uh, it is looking fine let's try nine so I'll stick with nine and I might just let's see if I just increase it to maybe three so I'll set the blur radius to three pixels and vertical offset to nine pixels again you don't have to you don't have to exact copy these values you have to use the values these these values will be different because of the size of the rectangle that you'll be using so just keep that in mind I'll just apply this and uh, just close out of this and now that's shape still selected this topmost one and just click on this icon to load the selection to bottom okay now we'll create the we'll make this uh, web button look a bit glossy and to do that just again uh, duplicate the shape remove the stroke from it and in the fill change it to linear gradient now uh, on the left side click on create an edit gradients tool now this right here the square shape is your starting node and this circle shape is your end node or the end point so the start point will go on the the top right here and this one I'll just put over here uh, select the start node and you'll see it's highlighted change the color to white and set the alpha opacity to 20% and for the bottom one uh, change it to black and set the alpha opacity to 20% and uh, there's your uh, button right uh, web button right there now all you have to do is uh, uh, put some text on top of it so I'll just write something login and uh, I'll choose a different font Let's see maybe I'll go with Helvetica this time and I'll just select that font and hold shift on this and shift click on the shape go to line and distribute panel set the relative to last selected and then click on this icon to center the text on vertical axis and then click on this icon to center the text on horizontal axis now you just select this text Hold Control Shift and resize it. Uh, change the color to white. You can uh, apply a shadow to this text. So go to Filter, Shadows and Glows, Drop Shadow, and uh, just uh, set the blur radius to zero pixels, and uh, set the vertical offset to minus. 0 0.5 pixels. Shadow type should be outer. And I'll just change the blur color to maybe 100 and I'll just live preview this. Just uh, crank up this to 1.5, minus 1.5. So you get the uh, gist, you just have to play around with the values right here. And I'm just going to apply this and close out of this. And there's your uh, normal state. Now we'll create the pressed state of this icon. So I just a rubber band select all of this and group it together. I'll duplicate this and I'll just move the duplicated shape uh, below. And select the shape and ungroup it by clicking on this icon right here. And uh, this right here is your uh, linear gradient. Now to uh, make uh, the pressed version of this uh, web button you just have to go to create an edit gradients tool and you'll see this starting node you just have to invert the position now the end node will be your starting node and your starting node will be your end node just like that and there's your uh, pressed state of the web button and uh, to change the color it's again very simple I'll just move the linear gradient 
away and I'll just uh, be able to select this uh, shape right here and you can easily then give it any color you want and I just bring this shape back to back to its place yeah so that's it guys that's how you create and that's how you create the web buttons in Inkscape hope this video was helpful if it was please do leave a like and I'll subscribe to my channel I'll see you in the next one goodbye